Today's storehouse story time is brought to you by Wifestyle Solutions, where wife is more than a title, it's a lifestyle. Friends, welcome to Storehouse Storytime. I'm Ronnie, and you guys, today's story is called The Girl with Big, Big Questions. It is written by Brittany Winley and illustrated by Jacob Suva. And this is a fun new friend we get to learn about who is so very curious, asking questions galore, and I am excited to introduce her to you. So friends, let's get started. There once was a girl with twinkling eyes and a very curious mind. This girl was always asking questions whose answers weren't easy to find. The world is so very interesting. She wanted to learn all she could from what makes a plane stay in the sky to what makes each person good. Her days were filled with adventures galore since her mind was so full of wonder. How long can a turtle stay in its shell? Hmm. Why does lightning come before the thunder? It's a great question. <laughs> Why can't people live on the moon? Hmm. What happens to stars when they fall? When will you let me stay up all night? <laughs> Why even have bedtime at all? <laughs> what does the dog do while I'm at school? Now that's a wonderful question. <laughs> hey, how was the whole world made? And why do we have big hearts that can feel hurt and upset and afraid? Mm. Could I fly if I got a good running start? The nearest volcano is, hmm, where? Are monsters real? What's Spanish for blue? Ooh. Is it okay to cut my own hair? From the moment she opened her eyes for the day to the time she was tucked into bed, she asked and asked and asked and asked every question that popped in her head. At first, her neighbors, teachers, and friends tried to answer her wonder-filled mind, but after a while, their encouraging smiles were replaced by the rolling of eyes. She noticed her questions were making them tense, and one day her class hit their limit. After she asked a dozen things about clouds, the class hollered, please stop, just quit it. Embarrassed, the girl tried to quiet her thoughts and not raise a voice so curious, so that no one would be too uncomfortable or even worse, furious. But one day she found the nest of a bird built low and exposed near the ground. Why would a nest not be in a tree? She wondered and then looked around. She was all by herself with no one to ask, so she ran to the library shelves. She read about cities and the lack of safe places for birds to build nests for themselves. Like hunting for treasure, she searched and learned more answers that made her frown. Hmm. With an urgent report, she announced to her class, there are not enough trees in our town. <laughs> she's very passionate about the things that she's learning, guys. I love this. The class, now moved by this information, asked questions about how to embark on a project that helped both the birds and their neighbors by planting more trees in their parks. The girl knew then that big questions are good and answers aren't just things to know. They are things to discover alongside each other. Asking questions is how we all grow. 
The end. Friends, has anyone ever told you that you ask too many questions or you're just always asking questions and always curious? Well, friends, what a wonderful way to be. You guys continue to ask all the questions, continue to be very curious and interested in all the things in the world, okay? That is how wonderfully smart and creative and wise you are, and it is absolutely just fine. <laughs> Friends, thank you for an awesome storehouse story time. Until next time, have a fantastic week.